They watched uh, I Love Lucy, which um, our first commercial channel picked up for its opening week as a, as a big attraction, because it was such a big show over here. Mm -hmm. Um, we always heard what was big in America. That's a key point about all this. So even when we didn't see things, there would be a level of knowledge or a level of expectation, not obviously through the internet, but just through newspapers or through our fashion magazines, which would have pictures of American stars. Mm -hmm. America never had pictures of British stars, but we had pictures of American stars because America was the place where everyone, everyone and everything was glamorous. Mm -hmm. um, they also watched the Phil Silvers show, Sergeant Bilko. Of course. Um, which is a particular favorite of my own. And um, so they did see all of that. What they didn't see was your American TV music shows. They didn't see American Bandstand because we didn't have it. Right. We had our own. They seem to be into Westerns as well. I mean, there's, you know, there's that, scene, that section in uh, the Get Back sessions yeah. where they're writing Get Back and Paul says, I've got it. Uh, Jojo left his home in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. John says, is Tucson in Arizona. Mm. And Paul says, yeah, it's where they filmed High Chaparral. Right. And I thought, how would he know that? You yeah. know? <laughs> well, High, Ch High Chaparral was um, a big show in Britain in the late 1960s, and it was on a channel that only certain people could get if you had a new TV set, mm -hmm. because it was new technology, and Paul, of course, had that. Um, they, they, they knew and loved Westerns, and Ringo is a Western name. I mean, it, it comes from the John Wayne film. Uh, and the Rory Storm and the Hurricanes, which was Ringo's group before the Beatles, they all had Western names, Johnny Guitar, right. of course, being another one. Mm -hmm. So we, we knew all about Westerns. There were loads of them. There were about 10 a week in those days.